couldn't believe my eyes. It was put in a temporary cubicle where there was probably six separate cubicles and every one of us had beds at our feet belonging to somebody else. The nurses and doctors were, every time I opened my eyes, running around trying to treat patients who needed to be admitted into hospital. We were moved to a assessment unit, which is really a, like a waiting area, um, where I was glad I had a bed because I needed it. And the biggest shock for me was a nurse coming in with tears in her eyes, telling me that they're sorry they had to close the ward that we were being treated in because they had nobody to staff the night shift. It was about 20 past 8, that girl had just tried to finish a 12 hour shift and couldn't because she had to push six or seven patients out into a waiting area. My bed along with another patient's was blocking a fire door. There were CCTV cameras with no privacy. I didn't know whether they were on or off, it doesn't matter, that's where we were put. I was frightened. I was frightened that if a crash team had to come into that ward or a temporary makeshift ward to attend to me or anybody else in the ward that they couldn't get through because our belongings were all over the place. It, it was horrendous. I would definitely got the best of care, don't get me wrong, and I'm glad I'm here today to tell the tale. But it has to be told.